Mr. Beast and Logan Paul and KSI have launched a new competitor for the eyes and stomachs of America's youth, or actually the world's youth. Mm, so Jimmy Beast. <laughs> He's back at it. <laughs> He's again. back at it again. So for those who don't know, Mr. Beast has a food company or a chocolate brand called Feastables, while KSI and Logan Paul have Prime, which is a energy drink slash sports drink. Mm -hmm. Um, so now the two worlds are combining to create a competitor for Lunchables. I do like Lunchables. <laughs> I don't know if I honestly like, I mean, Lunchables are pretty good, but like you. I don't remember the last for, time I had them. Because it's for children. <laughs> it's for, yeah, it is for children. I feel like Lunchables were the thing you take to field trips and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. But um, thinking about it this way, so they're calling it lun Lunchy, Lunchly, L-U-N-C-H, Lunch, L-Y, Lunchly. So they're claiming that this is going to be a better for you lunch option. So they're combining what I said before, Mr. Beast and his Feastables chocolate bar and the prime mm -hmm. hydration drink with a familiar like pizza, little pizza thing. Yeah. Like a cheese it or not a cheese it, like a Ritz cracker and um like some item, yeah. And cheese. Yeah. Something else. You know what? It's the one thing that I do have to say is like, I, <laughs> I, what's it called? I wish that it, it doesn't seem like they have like as different variety as Lunchables. Um, I mean, accounting, like the okay. pink one though. No, no, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, the it, is, it, one is it is. The one is with like the Ritz, the Ritz crackers is like. Yeah. It's, you make the little sandwich. You get yeah. the cracker. You get the, I don't, I don't even know if it was, what type of meat it was. Turkey, yeah. okay. Well, and then you get the block of cheese, yeah, and and then that's what you put. So it seems like they're going through and using that same food item. Well, they and that, that, that and pizza, that and pizza, and then it's also another lunchable item. It is another lunchable item, and then uh, using the prime hydration, and then the what is it? Then the feastable the yeah, chocolate the, bar. Stack, the but they're claiming that it's better because the prime energy drink or prime beverage or hydration beverage is. Um, better for you than the Lunchables Capri Sun pouch. Mm. So they're saying that, yeah, the Lunchables competitor that they're doing is, is actually more healthy. However, this is not without, I guess, um, contention because there's a lawsuit right, happening right now that alleges that um, these dr like prime drinks were falsely marketed to children as a healthier option, but it has quote unquote inordinately high levels of caffeine. So what? But, <laughs> I think they're talking about the um Prime Energy. Uh, prime energy. Yeah. So I don't know if that exact this doesn't exactly go with that, but they're suing Prime itself, which Yeah, I, I mean know. like I don't I think it's kind of weird. I you know the oh I think that I feel like what they're doing with this with lunchy mm -hmm. um lunchly whichever yeah um they i think it is appealing more to kids because it is creators that they know um and it's better marketing i would say than lunchables because mr beast could just promote it to his millions of fans yeah like and he could just it's like people will go out and buy them. You saw how Feastables was. People yeah. were still buying Feastables. The thing is that, as we find out later, I have additional things to talk about, but first consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment these interesting topics like this one all the time. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. But what I'm getting at is that I think there is a bit of a misnomer because it hype comes in waves in mm. terms of like the, the initial draw to this will be pretty high, but it does wane off because Prime has faced this exact issue because Prime is being sued by their bottling company. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. For $68 million because Prime broke a three-year contract and reduced the drink. So that's an issue where the demand originally was very, very high. But 
Logan Paul and KSI were unable to sustain the high levels of demand, demand yeah. for the product and thus the lawsuit. Let me tell you, someone was not doing their job correctly. Uh, <laughs> if, if they're projecting that type of demand, it's, it, it, it honestly could have been like they probably would have saw it and then thought it might continue because they were showing continuous growth. Uh, yeah. But it is understandable how these things like can happen. But at the same time, it's like it just fell off a cliff. Because uh, the thing is that they were like sponsoring a bunch of different sports teams. Yeah. They were in boxing, the uh, YouTuber or um, I guess influencer boxing things. Prime was pretty much everywhere, and like it was, yeah, like talking about it. So it's not against them for you know, not promoting it, which they do all the time. Mm -hmm. It seems that like the frenzy to buy all of that wasn't sustained. Um, but I do wonder because I thought they would come out with more interesting um, things besides like pizza, the little Ritz cracker cheese thing and nachos. Mm. It's like, I feel like they should have came out with something different, you know? Yeah, I am curious. It's like because it's literally like d like it's the same hey, thing. Copy and can, paste. Yeah, well, it's like oh, hey, you can look at my homework, but don't like <laughs> don't. make it too obvious, and then they make this, and it's like ah, it's a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the only thing that's different is like their prime and the chocolate bars. Yeah, and the the meal itself is could be, I think, a bit more interesting. It could be. I think personally, I think that I feel like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was gonna say that I feel would you like buy this for a kid. No, I would not buy this for a kid. I would make really? uh, get a sandwich instead. Make him have a sandwich, but then all the other kids are gonna want it. You're you're giving, you're giving them nachos. I was gonna say you're giving them nachos and you're giving them the pizzas, even yeah. though the the crackers were really good. I mean, this is <laughs> it's, it's really great. I will I will defend that. It's really good. I guess. Um, that's what I remember. That one was my favorite. Really, but, uh, pizza was my favorite. Pizza was your favorite. Uh, Oh yeah, the the weird like chalky or like really weirdly textured. <laughs> you don't like pizza the dough. You don't like the square block cheese. Um, but yeah, I do think that this appeals more to kids. Well, uh, yeah. No, no, I mean that, and they they will go and tell their parents to go buy this because they're like, yeah. oh, it's like I know, Mr. Like I I like Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Like I like his content, or I Man, I like they're... Logan Paul. I don't actually know. Think kids watch Logan Paul? Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, I do, I mean, it seems like they do, though. But um, oh, okay. I do think that there's going to be a lot of promotions, especially when Mr. Beast promotes something. He's like, oh, you know, oh, if you, yeah. the, the golden ticket is going to be in one of these boxes. So, I can totally see him do that. Or first person to get this receives 100,000 lunchy boxes for their whole school. You know, like, there's going to be a lot of, like, different things. But I do think that they could have done a bit better. But I do see where they're going with this. I think originally Mr. Beast was like trying to get more mm -hmm. healthier alternatives, like maybe not like the most healthy, but like still tasting good. So I think it is moving towards that goal. But I, I don't know if it was. You know what's been so, a little bit. You know what's so crazy? It's like I'm looking. Um, I'm looking at the images, the box images, and it's like right in the center is like Mr. Beast's chocolate, and then Prime on the side, and the food item is. It's, it's it's there, yeah, but I think the the center stage is like the prime and the and the chocolate bar. I think that's what they want. Yeah, they want to push the, the the chocolate bars and the prime, and they actually probably want you to buy the big thing after. Yeah, I mean it can't be that big. I think there's a small chocolate bar and a small prime and or prime I, hydration. I do wonder how much this is going to cost. Oh, uh, I don't think they they mention it in here. How it's much it's probably going to be it's going to probably be, be comparable. With, yeah, with Lunchable. Yeah, with Lunchables, but yeah, but we'll see how it goes because it looks like um, this is probably going to be a hit, and you know, I it's going to be everywhere. Know, yeah, especially if there's like some sort of um, giveaway or some sort of contest going along with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Are you excited for Lunchly, or are you a person who's Basically, I guess boycotting Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI because of all the things that they've the things that have come out have come out, or other things that have happened in the space. Or I mean, if your kid wants it, how can you really say no? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you could say no. You could say no, but you know, 
They're gonna be the one with Lunchables instead of Lunchly. Yeah. And then they're be all sad about that. But let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.